Hi everyone and welcome to the video. In this video I'm just going to show you how to actually set up your WordPress package once you've purchased it. So at this point I've got a WordPress package in my account, I just need to assign a domain to it and get it installed. So we're on uh, go to fastos.co.uk and go to the login area and we need to log into our control panel here and then just enter your username and password. Once we've logged in here it's going to go across to the WordPress hosting section and I've got a few packages here so I've got four websites here two of them have currently got domain names assigned and two of them uh, both need to uh, sorry I've got one spare one and it's this one here where it says set up your WordPress hosting so go ahead and press that if you've only got one package you might skip this screen and just go on to this next screen so I'm just seeing this extra screen because I've got more than one package so here we can see the setup screen uh, it's pretty it's pretty straightforward but I run through the process anyway so web type the website title and website tagline can both be changed later so don't worry too much so wills website can we get anything new on that helps if i spell it correctly luckily it can be changed later um, website tagline so this is my website can be anything you like anything you like and it can be changed so now we've got pre-installed plugins so we've got a few choices here and this might change over time so it might not be the same when you're watching this video but basically if you check any of these it's going to pre-install uh, pre-install these plugins as you are uh, with the installation again you can install all of these later on if you'd like to so don't worry too much if you're not really sure uh, just leave them blank if you want to I'm just going to go ahead and add one uh, let's go with yeah, let's go with contact seven forms but like I say these are just uh, ones we've added and for all of these there's lots of other ones you can add once you've installed WordPress so now we're going to scroll down and we've got our admin user name and password here so enter a username will admin can be and again this one is don't try and avoid using just admin because if you install wordpress just uh, by default what, what it will generally just default to admin so it's the most commonly used username um will admin probably isn't much better either because if people know it's will's website will admin yeah fairly uh fairly obvious one to try and uh, just a little bit more secure just to use something a bit more obscure and then just set your password again make sure it's nice and strong and uh, just so nothing too obvious it's always a good idea to have strong passwords And then once you've entered that, just click continue to domain name. So next up, choose domain name. Again, fairly self-explanatory. You've got a few options here, so you can register a new domain name if you don't already have a domain name. Uh, you can choose a domain name in your account, or you can use a domain registered elsewhere. So if you've already registered a domain name uh, with another provider, you can use that here. Uh, if you've already got one in your account that's unassigned, like I have here, I could just use those register a new domain name again self-explanatory and just for this video i'm going to go ahead and use a domain registered elsewhere so let's just use and it's going to say here next warning you're about to change the domain name assigned to this package um, because you haven't got one already um, please and it's going to say here this is because the domain name I've I've used there it's not using the fastest name servers that's not necessarily an issue but it will give you this warning uh, if you're using a domain hosted elsewhere so read that little warning and always read this warning just in case it's slightly different to what I'm seeing here Also, another thing worth noting while this is just loading is you don't need to change your name servers. We can provide you with just the A records, so it might mean nothing to you at this point in time, but if you don't want to change your name servers, don't worry, it won't need to. Um, just contact support if you're not sure. 
So now we're going to get this WordPress set up and everything is going to install um, and that's going to be all there is to it. Now this stage can take a little while, anything up to 5-10 minutes just while it all gets installed and once this once it's finished this screen will just evolve into your package overview screen. Uh, so I'm going to leave the video there but if you need to come back to it uh, later just go into that WordPress hosting section there and your package will be accessible for you there. And that's all there is to it. Thanks very much for watching. Goodbye for now.